Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible back with another Microsoft Rewards Guide. Uh, today they've added a new kind of uh, reward possibility for us, kind of similar to a punch card, but this is called the August Monthly Bonus Round. And basically we've got two weeks to do this. Uh, it's through August 15th. It's for 2,000 points. And we've got six different steps that we've got to work through to get all this done. Um, the first two tasks, uh, we have to run a search on Bing and then complete daily sets. Uh, the third task is we've got to earn three achievements, which I'll help you with today. Uh, the fourth one is to basically click on a link here. Number five, take a quiz. And number six is claim the prizes. So the very first one, uh, the Bing searches, you're gonna have to do that over the course of five days. So today can be your first day. Just make sure you come back five times before uh, August 15th to get that done. Um, you can do it on any device. So we're gonna take a look just here on the Xbox using the Microsoft Edge browser. You could do this on your phone. You could do it on your computer, however you want to. Um, but basically you're just gonna need to go to bing.com so uh, if you're loading up a new Bing, a new uh, Edge browser tab there, you can just click on Bing, run a search for uh, whatever you wanna run a search for. I ran a search for Hurricane since that's kind of been in the news today. And uh, yeah, basically, so that will do one search for today so that that satisfies day one of five. Again, you're gonna have to do it five times to, to actually finish up the card. So, so that's... Uh, how we're gonna do step one on five different days. The second part is the daily set. Um, you may have heard me talk about this on my channel before. I've got a good overview video where I talk about those, but uh, basically you can go to account.microsoft.com slash rewards, and I'll put that link in the description as well in case you need it. But the daily set is three different activities that you can do every day to earn rewards points. So. Um, you can see I've already got check marks here, so I've already done them all. But basically, the first one is just uh, clicking to execute a search that they've got set up for you. Um, the second one is always some sort of quiz. So you'll just click on that, take the quiz. Uh, doesn't really matter whether you get everything right or wrong. It's just, uh, you just, you just have to take the quiz. And the third one is to do a daily poll. So you have two options, and you just pick whichever option you prefer and that will complete your daily set. Again, you gotta do five, five different Bing searches on five different days, three different daily sets on three different days. So we've done one of five and one of three for tasks one and two. So I'm just gonna assume you're gonna come back on subsequent days and finish those out, and then you'll be able to uh, do your 2,000, get your 2,000 points from the rewards program. All right, task number three, we're gonna do this all right now. So let's grab three achievements in an Xbox One game. Um, you can see I've already got one today, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and earn three more. Um, and I was thinking, you know, maybe not everybody that watches this video has Game Pass. Um, and, you know, maybe maybe it would be more likely that everybody has uh, access to games with gold. I don't know if everybody knows, but if you go to the full library tab and then go to games with gold, you basically get three free games um, every couple of weeks. So we're gonna use one of those games, Portal Knights. You can also just search for this in the Microsoft Store on your Xbox and you'll be able to find it. But it's a pretty simple little game, sort of similar to Minecraft a little bit from what I saw. And, uh, and we're gonna unlock three easy achievements in this. So let's press A to get started in the game. And the three achievements are Baby Steps is the first one, Man Made is the second one, and Traveler is the third one. So go ahead and put your character together however you prefer. I pretty much just uh, picked picked it random and and uh, left a lot of the defaults set up the way that the, the game set them up for me initially. And I just left the character name as Ranger 910. That's what they set up for me. Click A to play. And you wanna do this in adventure mode and you can just uh, start up whatever universe it sets up for you there. I think it was just called Universe One. All right, so we're on level one. And um, basically, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to mine uh, 10 blocks. So I've got the little archer here. So she's actually shooting a bow and arrow, but um, 
but you'll see each time you destroy one of these, uh, one of these little dirt blocks, you're able to pick it up, uh, very similar to how they do it in Minecraft. So basically we just need to collect 10 of these. So just kind of start mashing your right trigger and uh, destroy some of these blocks. You can see I'm at seven now. So as soon as we get up to 10, we're gonna get that first achievement that we need out of three. All right, there we go. All right, now the second achievement is uh, basically we have to uh, we have to craft something. So we need some wood for this. So find a tree and then start smacking the tree with your right trigger. Um, you should get some logs. As long as you got four logs, you should be able to do this. Um, you're gonna press Y and then uh, press RB to go over to the sort of ha hammer in hand icon. And then you're gonna press right trigger to move over to the the thing that looks like a table there. Um, and you'll see workbench is highlighted. You can press A to go ahead and craft that. All right, so we got the man-made achievement and for crafting our first item. Now the third thing we want to do is go through a portal. This is this game is called Portal Knights, so it's all about uh, going through some portals, right? in addition to the Minecrafty type stuff. But uh, if you move up to the kind of the top center of the map here, you'll see that there is a portal here. Um, it's not built fully yet though. It only has two of its blocks and it needs um, four more blocks to be complete. So you'll meet uh, Rupert up here and he tells you about the portal and how it needs some portal stones to be able to activate it. And to make the portal stones, we're gonna have to craft those too. We need some portal shards. Uh, so you have to go ahead and accept his uh, invitation to do that. And then basically the easiest way i found to grab some portal shards is by um, destroying some of the enemies that are in this level. So uh, just kind of move around, see if you can find some of these parrots, um, and then just start mashing the right trigger to destroy them. And whenever you see those little blue things pop out, then you've collected some, sh some shards. Basically we need eight uh, shards to be able to to craft everything that we need. So two so far. And then we just grabbed two more, so we're halfway there. Um, I moved around and, and fought a bunch of different enemies. I uh, wasn't sure which ones were gonna give out the shards. The parrots definitely seem to be the best, but these kind of blob type things that are jumping around can can give out shards sometimes as well. So again, you're, you need eight of them. So once you've got eight, you should be good. Um, but as far as how to craft, uh, it'll be very similar to the table, but uh, you'll go over to the um, to the crafting area again with the sort of the fist and the hammer, um, and then move over to the one that looks like a table with eyeballs on it, and you can start crafting some of these portal stones. So you can see I can't can't keep crafting at this point. I'm going to need a few more shards. So let's fight some more enemies and then we'll collect some more shards here. All right, so that blob had uh, one shard inside of it. All right, we got a lot of enemies down there. So we're gonna grab a few more shards from these guys and this should be able to get us to all eight that we need. We got one more parrot to take out. All right, and that one, like I said, the parrots usually have two in them, so go for those if you can, if you can find them. All right, we'll move over to the crafting menu again and craft some more portal stones and then we'll just have to take them back up to the portal itself and uh, have a little bit of trouble with the like positioning and placement of putting the, the stones in now that they're crafted. Um, so you'll see me struggling with this a little bit, getting like the camera right and the positioning right, but, uh, but eventually we get them all in there. Um, so you wanna make sure that you actually have the, the portal stones selected and ready to be placed. Um, so to do this, you'll press Y, and then uh, go over to the, um, the sort of satchel looking thing, 
click on the portal stone and then replace one of the things that's in that bottom menu. So you can see now I've got it in the spot where down on the D-pad places a portal stone. So then I just have to sort of right click or uh, click the right trigger when I've got it in position to actually put the, put the stone there. All right, so we got almost all of them in. I put one in the wrong place. All right, so we've got them all in and the portal's now active. So basically we just need to move through the portal to uh, unlock that next achievement. That'll be our third out of the three that we needed. And you can choose depart anyway here. And there we go, we've got the, the traveler achievement. So that'll take you on to the second level of the game, um, but that's basically all we needed to do. We needed to grab three achievements in any Xbox One game, so we did that. Let's hop back over to the Microsoft Rewards app, and uh, we can click on task number three to let the system know that we've finished that up. All right, task number four, basically we just need to click on the link here to unlock those 500 points, and then you can donate uh, some of your points here if you need to, if you choose to, if you so choose. All right, task number five is we've got a quiz that we've got to take, and this actually opens up the Edge browser again, and uh, this is very similar to the daily set quizzes that you may have done, um, but uh, yeah, basically they're just a bunch of questions about which, uh, which thing happened first. So we're just gonna kinda fast forward through all of these as you see me get my, my 10 completed here. All right, 10 out of 10, not bad if I do say so myself. Um, all right, so we'll hop back over to the Microsoft Rewards app here and we should have credit for completing the quiz now. And there we go, we got that check mark. So um, basically claiming the prizes is the last step. So um, so yeah, again, there, there are just kind of two other things you have to do if you've been following along with me. Um, you know, come back and do those daily sets on two more days from today, and then run Bing searches on whatever device, it could be on your Xbox or on your phone or whatever, um, for five more days, and then come back and click that final link. So unfortunately we can't get it all done in a single day here. Sometimes the punch cards and the weekly sets are like this. I'm sure you know if you've, if you've worked on some of those over the past few weeks or months. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, and hopefully you got, uh, you got your three achievements done without too much difficulty. I hope that game worked out for y'all, and that is going to do it for the first monthly bonus round, the August monthly bonus round that they've given us this month. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool new type of uh, punch card style thing here in the rewards app. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.